Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Elizabeth Ejari. I am a clinical microbiologist in the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital. I would like to talk about something that is of grave concern, but people have not really thought about it, and that is antimicrobial resistance. What is antimicrobial resistance? This is when the antibiotics or any medications that you take to treat infectious disease does not work anymore. It has become a global concern and it is killing a lot of people. What happens with antimicrobial resistance is that the normal conditions that you can treat, normal infectious conditions that you can treat with antibiotics, with anti-malarials, with um, anti-TB medications don't work anymore. And so then it leads to longer hospital stay. It leads to higher costs in terms of buying more expensive medications. It also leads to death, unfortunately. In the past, in about 1900s, infections were killing a lot of people. People were dying from wound infections, were dying from TB, were dying from pneumonia. And then we discovered antibiotics. And now you could have um, wounds and they would not become infected. You could get a common cough, cold, and you would be cured. But as the years went on, we realized that there were still um, antimicrobial resistance happening. It's a natural phenomenon. However, because we have abused antibiotics, we have abused antimicrobial agents, now it's becoming more rampant. Now we are having superbugs such as um, gonorrhea. We have antimicrobial resistance TB. We have um, salmonellosis, which is not being treated by normal antibiotics. And so if someone gets typhoid today, the normal antibiotics that should cure the person does not work anymore. And this is of grave concern. What we can do as a nation to stop it is, please stop buying over-the-counter antibiotics. Please go to the hospital before you are treated um, with antibiotics. Don't say that I have a cold, so I'm going to buy amoxiclav. Don't say that my stomach is hurting, so I'm going to buy flagell. Please get a prescription so that we can slow down the rate of antimicrobial resistance and we can keep what we have safely and continue on into the next generation. Thank you.